I want to take you back to January of 1939, brink of World War. I want you to forget everything you thought you knew about how we won the Second World War. Had you been a betting person in January of 1939, had there been prediction markets, you would have placed your odds on Nazi Germany. Why? They had these things called U-boats, submarines that looked ready to strangle the Atlantic. We had no answer. Their planes in the Luftwaffe outclassed anything the Allied had, looked ready to bomb Europe in submission, which they did one year later within a matter of weeks. And in January 1939, two German scientists discovered something called nuclear fission, splitting the atom, which put Hitler within reach of the most dangerous weapon ever created by man. What happened? A man named Vannevar Bush, dean of engineering at MIT, quit his job, moved to Washington, and talked his way into a meeting with FDR, President Franklin Roosevelt. It was a 10-minute meeting. Probably changed the course of the war more than any other such meeting, as well as the fate of the United States. He told FDR, in this coming war, it's going to be technology-driven, and we will lose. The army and the navy are too far behind Nazi Germany, and we will never catch up in time. Handed him one sheet of paper, three small bullets in the middle. He said, I want you to authorize a new group inside the federal government that will report only to me, and I will report only to you. Fast forward. 1943, every year, the U-boats were sinking more ships every single month that the Allies could build. It did become, as Churchill and Roosevelt understood, the single greatest threat of the war, and Hitler and his generals did realize, this is how we will win the war. We will strangle Europe. And not publicly known, March 1943, England was down to three months of oil. No oil, no tanks. What do ships run on? What do planes run on? What do trucks run on? Oil. No oil, no war. Three months away from Hitler winning and Western Europe being a united Nazi Republic of Europe. What happened? March 14, 1943. The first B-24 Liberator bombers with two new technologies from Vannevar Bush and his group of loons sailed out over the Atlantic. One was long-range radio navigation, which allowed them to quickly find the convoys under attack. Forerunner GPS. Two, and this was the most important one, microwave radar. It allowed the pilots to see the U-boats for the first time, day or night, fog or shine, and they began shooting down U-boats like shooting fish in a barrel. Within four weeks, they'd sunk more U-boats than in the entire prior war. Six weeks later, May 24, 1943, Admiral Carl Dunnett sends a radio blast across the Atlantic. All remaining U-boats withdraw. They'd lost over half the U-boat fleet. And the lanes were cleared to resupply England. And the lanes were cleared for an Allied invasion in Europe. 1944, outcome of the war is very clear. FDR calls in Bush. What's going to happen when the war ends? What's going to happen to this incredible system for innovating astonishingly fast that you develop? He said, well, it's going to fall flat on its face. He said, I want you to create a new system for the United States based on your system of innovating astonishingly fast here. That grew into the National Science Foundation, the National Institutes of Health, the National Cancer Institute, DARPA, which gave us GPS, the Internet, the chemotherapy cure for cancer, much of the early personal computer industry, the biotechnology industry. Original Google search algorithm was an NSF project. Siri and your phones came out of DARPA. I hope I've convinced you or given you a little taste of a new kind of science of business, a new way to think about how groups behave, and showed you how understanding what happens inside that glass of water helped the Allies win the Second World War, helped the US lead the world in science and technology ever since, and gives us new ways to think about what it means to be a good manager and leader, and a few steps closer to that holy grail of liberating trapped ideas. Thank you very much. <laughs>